Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be working on this beautiful, literally, literally brand new 2019 with 11 arrows and it's leaking oil. All right, guys, so remember to comment, like, and subscribe so we can grow this channel, so I can do more videos like this. Let's share, share, share. Now, today, we got this beautiful, beautiful, literally, 2019. Now, we are in 2023, so this jet ski's got four years on it, but it only got 11 hours. That's crazy. The owner didn't even ride it but it's leaking oil now the owner is just pretty handy guy you know he watches my videos so he said oh i think it's an oil cooler he went in there inspected it and he took the intake off and he noticed that it was the oil cooler well the oil cooler in this chest case pretty you gotta know what you're doing he tried to take them off he took the two bolts on the on the top off but the two bolts on the bottom you can't get to them it's a whole deal you got to take the pump out of the shaft you got to lift the motor so you can just get to the oil cooler it's a job not impossible if you mechanically inclined you can do it no problem hey i can do it. i figure it out i'm sure you guys can too but it's okay it's not worth it to him you know he's like you know what let a professional do it and and it's fine, I'll pay for it. So great, that's, that's what we're doing today. So now, my thing with this is 11 hours and the oil cooler is, hmm, they, this is not right. So I'm with you guys, I haven't even, I opened the, the took the seat off with him. We looked at it a little bit, but I haven't really looked at this jet ski. So, I want, I got a pretty good guess of what's going on here. Um, it's a beautiful jet ski, but if we go under the jet ski, look at this, we got barnacles. So that means, and it's only up to here, if you see the line of the water, it's only up to here. And if you look over here, you can see it. You can see the line up to here and up to here. What did that mean? Look at the barnacles. What I think happened is this jet ski sat on a salt water dock and somehow this water gets in, it finds a way into the jet ski and it probably had that much water inside and it probably rotted just half of the oil cooler because it makes no sense. Why is it leaking oil through the oil cooler? It's only got 11 arrows. So I think that's what happened. Let's take it apart and let's see if we can fix it. All right, we took this plastic off. You know, now we got more room because it's all the way over here and we can see more. Um, there it is. There's proof right there. You can see the water. At some point, I have water up to here. See the water line? Uh, yep, it definitely has water. You see this here? You see how it's stained? It's stained. Oh, look at that. We might have another little problem. This is a 2019, so that means if it has that, yep, it has the original inner cooler 2803 I guarantee you this inner cooler is busted. Now, he did took it to the water before he came over here, so ha, 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 ha. That means the inner cooler, the whole system has water. So as soon as we start it up, hmm. So let's test the inner cooler. All right, so we took our hose that comes from the inner cooler to the throw body off. He put it just like that. And now we'll crank it up and let's see if there's any water that comes out
so we know the inner cooler is bad. I always say the Sido inner cooler lasts between three to three and a half years. If your inner cooler is three years old, you should check, and it's as simple as that. Take off the hose, turn it on, and if you see any water on, you gotta replace it. So let's move on. All right, we took our intake off, and here we go. Here's the oil cooler. There's one bolt here, one here, and there's two on the bottom. <laughs> so let's see if we can take it out without taking more stuff off and get it done see what's going on so what i want to do is i want to see i want to make sure that it's coming from there so i put my hand in here and look at that that is fresh oil so if we do the same thing on this side see what we get oh man this is tight no well, this one is not too bad but this one is definitely leaking more all right let's take it out so what we're gonna do is to get to the bottom bolts of the oil cooler, we're gonna lift the motor. I gotta take the supercharger off, take the carbon seal ring off, uh, clip, and take the pump out, and take the dry shaft out, and loosen all the bolts, take off this bolt from the this motor mount, loosen all the other bolts, and lift the motor just enough that I can get to the bottom bolts of the inner cooler if i don't do that then i'm gonna put pressure with the when you lift the motor you're gonna put pressure on the carbon seal and you might break the carbon seal and then you have another problem all right we got the supercharger out we got the shaft out we got all the motor mounts off so now we can actually move this motor and lift it up so we can get the bottom bolts. In order to do that, we had to take the pump out. It's a big job. And this client said that this jet ski, they replaced the shaft and they rebuilt the pump already. So yeah, I believe them. I mean, this is a brand new shaft and the carbon is brand new. It's hardly being used. So I'm guessing this is all new too. This is a brand new pump and prop because this will be filled with with the same with the same things um oh geez i can't remember what these things are called um it will be covered with especially the prop so this is a brand new prop and you can see in there the shaft is brand new too um just for peace of mind we are going to take this prop out we're going to take the cone out take the prop out to confirm that this pump was rebuilt so we're gonna do that and now we're gonna lift the motor and take out the oil cooler now you gotta remember something you got antifreeze in here and these two hoses is what cools the oil these are antifreeze so i don't know what's going on i still i still don't believe the oil cooler is bad something else going on either i don't know i don't want to say anything because i don't know um, we're gonna take it one step at a time. If the oil cooler is bad and it's corroded, then we'll take an antifreeze out and we'll replace it. We'll see, let's see what happened. All right, guys, so that's how you do it. We lift the motor in one side. So now we can get to the bottom right here, the two bottom bolts on the oil cooler. So we're gonna take that out now and let's see what we got all right guys this is funny this is one of those things i want to teach you guys something so i took the oil cooler off i knew i knew my problem was in this section here i was expecting this to be rotted out or the oil ring missing 
or broken or something but as you can see the oil ring is missing you got this one here but this one is missing and I say and I know it did not fall because I took the oil cooler out very carefully and I put it in here when it's an old oil cooler that's been here for more than three years usually they come out and they get stuck to the oil cooler right here they get stuck right here and you can see that well this one didn't and it's missing I look for it in the bottom can't find it look for it everywhere cannot find it now the funny thing is I look at the serial number and it's a 22 it's a brand new oil cooler someone came in here and did all this work to this jet ski and they lost the o-ring look at that what I do is I put a little bit of grease in here so they stay in there and I do the same thing to the oil ring on the supercharger the small one the return I put a little grease in there and it stays in there because those I seen those on people that they come up when they trying to put the supercharger in and you gotta main handle it and stuff that was my light and that happens I wish I had a dedicated camera guy and I had a crew so I don't have to stop work and then film see that's why we gotta grow this channel if you want to see me doing more cool videos and more details we have to sh grow this channel so I have the budget to hire a whole team and we can do great videos imagine how funny that would be taking the oil cooler out and say we're missing something here <laughs> But anyway, that's what we got. Not a big deal. It's good for the client because you don't have to spend the money in oil cooler, but it's also not good. So I'm putting everything back together and we're gonna start it up and see if that fixes it. I'm pretty sure that was a problem. So see what happened. All right, got the two. I took out the other one, got another oil ring. And now we'll put a little bit of grease on them and put it in there and they won't come out you can do you can move it around you can do whatever you want and they won't come out so that's my tip just like that you don't have to kill it you don't have to put a lot of grease just enough so it kind of stays in there so now we're putting everything back all right another little tip is when the mani the manifold rests in this little groove right here so it won't move you got all these bolts here and then it rests right here if you notice you see how it's marked right there whoever put this last did not put it in the groove and you can see it here on this one too they they missed the groove you see how this one is all crooked and stuff I'm just gonna turn it around there we go and this one too so when you put it in you have to make sure that it's in there what I do is I put my hand in here and I touch it and make sure that it's right in there and I do the same thing here or you can actually see it so that's another tip so you know you do things the right way so another thing, if you own a Sido and you work in your own Sido, you know you need a truckload of zip tights. Yes, there's a lot of jokes up there. Sidos are held together by zip tights. Apparently, the engineers at Sido, they love zip tights. And they're the ones you have to cut them and replace it. Not like Yamaha. Yamaha was a lot smarter. And they put the ones that they you can reuse them. You press a little thing and you can reuse the same zip tie. Now see do. <laughs> so they got different sizes for everything. I find that this size is the best one. Just there, there's a, I have a small one, I have a long one. So I don't even put the thick ones back on like, like they used to be right here and stuff. Nah, just you put enough zip ties and it's perfect. All right, guys, so the jet ski is back together. Here you go, look at this baby. Nice and pretty. 
and we tap that and it frees a little bit but that was questionable i don't know why it was low we didn't ask so many questions so we fill it up again um put oil in it we're gonna start it up and that is good in my book i hope you guys learn a few things and a few tricks from this experience and i'll see you guys on the next episode